you know, and stupid shit like um, the singer from Iron Maiden, the one of the Blaze Valley. No one gives a shit about this stuff. I mean, am I am, am I am I on some old shit? What am I on here? This fucking thing didn't refresh a lot. I got fucking news from two years ago because I usually write it down. I usually write it down before the show, but I didn't have time because I was trying to get my fucking beauty sleep. But yeah, I was reading some old shit. Um, just Wolf Mother, man. I bought their first CD. I guess they're coming back. They got a new lyric video out. The guy still got that big hair, but man, he don't look familiar anymore. Those guys were pretty good. The first album was pretty good, so I'll, I'll have to check that out. Um, Ramstein is to go headline the Chicago Open Air Festival. Those guys put on a wild show. It's the first time I've ever seen a band bring out dildos on the stage and try to fucking ass rape each other. I watched the fucking live Metallica. Now that I'm done with the news now. Now I got something fucking that I really want to talk about. Um, Metallica did a live show the night before the Super Bowl. That's what it was called the night before. Man, those guys were sloppier than a loose meat sandwich. Do you know what a loose meat sandwich is? Do you know what a fucking sloppy Joe is on a fucking little hamburger roll? They were sloppier than a loose meat sandwich. I I I I I know one of my producers and engineers worked with Metallica and said that there was a lot of drum editing on Lars and blah 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 and this and that. I, they went from being one of the tightest fucking... I don't care about the studio. Everybody's editing in the studio for the most part because that's just what you do. But, dude, it was fucking horrendous. I don't know if anybody listened to that shit, but it was it was horrendous. It was sincerely horrendous. Um, I don't know if it's because I, I'm hearing a mix on a board versus being at a live show. Kirk was all over the place. James... Uh, he his voice sounded great. He did pretty much fantastic all the way around. Lars, my my own opinion is a mess. So I'm sorry, Lars, but you're not a fucking better drummer than Richard Christie. That's on the Howard Stern show. Who was in fucking Charred Walls of the Damned or Death or anything like that? Yeah, he you might have inspired him, but if if you two took a fucking drum off, he'd kill you, dude. I'm fucking sorry. You, you you are not that good of a drummer. Yes, you're a fucking rock legend. I give you every fucking inch of that statement. From the bottom of my fucking heart, you're a rock legend. But you are not the fucking greatest drummer. Kirk is was so fucking sloppy. The bla- bass player, I didn't even know if he was plugged in. I love the guy. The hair's got to fucking go. Can't take it. That's part of my who gives a shit segment, I guess. But really, I, I I couldn't stop watching it. I mean, because just the fact that I like a lot of Metallica songs and I like seeing them live. Um, but when but when he was doing that double bass in one, it wasn't it wasn't the slightest bit powerful, man. It just it just wasn't there. Maybe it was a bad mix, um, but. The, the bad notes on the lead guitar, I, I I don't know. I don't know. It's just my personal opinion. And then something about James Hetfield getting thrown out of the Super Bowl or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't got time for that shit. I was busy fucking working. Don't care. I just looked that video of Peyton Manning on that old man dancing with the crutches. He was like doing that dance where he just fucking throws his crutches down and busts out the dance move. That was a funny fucking video. That was fucking funny. So I'm going to play a couple of more songs that I owe these bands so I can get goddamn caught up on my sheet here, man, because I'm so, I'm so fucking, I'm so fucking behind and I'm even running behind on this show because I talk too fucking much. The show was an hour, then back to a half hour, then two hours and back to a half hour. And now it's just like I could do fucking five hours of this shit. Eventually, we'll get there. I want to build the fucking studio kiosk thing. I want to make this better, but you got to buy the fucking shirt, man. I need to 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 invest. 
and put the money back into bands and, and make this fucking better. And then I can bring you in more in studio. I can push this shit outside the fucking walls here. I can make this a fucking great thing. And all you guys can be on the air. Come in, visit, call in, multiple lines, all the shit. We're going to fucking rock it out. So I'm going to play a quick commercial for Cold Cock. And then we're going to move on to the last few bands. I'm Jay Stone. You listen to my show live. From Tarpon Springs, Florida. I can't even say where I live. At Rock Metal Talk. Dot com. Ching. It's time to get your cold cock. This is far right here, Rock. It's time to do a shot with your family. Yeah, get your cold cock. This is far right here, Rock. It's time to do a shot with your family. Go! 